Hey everybody, this is My Lord Chaos here, and today we are playing Monarch. We originally did try out a demo a few weeks back, but, oh, let me uh, clear it up. And this time we're really trying out the main game. We're going to try to have some fun uh, and, you know, see how well it goes. Uh, let's get right into it, guys. If you wish to be your own person, to have your own ego, then don't give in to what others call normal. Only you can defend your will and desires, your beliefs and morals, because in this unjust world formed of incomplete thoughts, your ego is what makes you who you are. Should the world deny your ego and refuse to accept it, then prove to the world that you live by your own rules. I swear that could have been a, uh, a dare campaign from the 90s or a uh, Nike commercial dialogue. Okay, what do we have here? Are you awake? Then show me. Show me your ego. Here? In front of people? Oh, oh, my ego. Let's see. Ah, in front of an audience. All right, let's do this. I ain't afraid of no skeletons. Let's go. Take that. Oh. I mean, that, that wasn't his turn. Damn. Uh, that was pretty close, though. Should've seen the other guy. I swear. Uh, this isn't performance issues. It's okay. I swear. Tisk, tisk. Another failure. Damn. What a shame. Uh, the world truly is a cruel. They're closing in. Where's those beady red eyes? Oh, he dead dead. This little one just isn't good enough. You know, just hearing those bell rings kind of reminds, you know, uh, someone like myself going to Sunday school with those uh, church bells. Maybe that's just me from my experience. All right, there's there's this student council president or vice president. Who knows? You never know. Taking pictures. Scandalous. Okay. Oh, she's into the occult black magic. Into the forest with you. All right. Another character. I did school. I'm bad as fuck. Oh, <laughs> that dude is bad as fuck. I don't want to mess with that guy. And this person is... Padre. Hmm, another school day. Ah, plot device. Surrounding the school. Hey, 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 kids, I know school is bad, but you don't have to fake. Everybody has to fake being sick. They're losing their minds. Ah, he's got pink eye. Hmm. 
and we get introduced to our main character. Well, Mr. New Student, your name, if you would. Hmm, my name. You know, with eyes like that, he screams, uh, edgy. So we're going to give him an edgy name, all right, guys? So let's see if we could uh, try to be original. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go with that. Wait, what? You tell me I already used it? What's oh, my channel? Mm, I see. How terribly charming. That's a wonderful name. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Shin Mikado Academy. I am Yoru, otherwise known as your dean. Now, now. You can let your guard down. I just wanted to chat is all. Especially with someone as extraordinary as you. Me? I'm going to ask you a few questions. They'll pertain to your ego and the seven desires that make up your will. Oh, oh, my will. My what will. What does school life mean to you? All right, just so I could be a good influence. How responsible. Then let's follow up on that. Are you the diligent note-taking type? Well, duh. How would you feel if you let a friend copy your notes and they did better on the test than you? Hmm, hmm. Eh, I guess. It seems like your friend is about to mess something up. What do you do? Hey. You're yeah. standing in line Don't want them for... Hmm. Let's say ramen. Gotta look up, my boy. Someone cuts ramen. in front of you, but you've been waiting for ages. What do you do? Hey, you don't take that, sh that crap. You need money to fulfill your goals, but you're flat broke. Go all out. Do you do? Never give up. Don't be, don't be... Have you ever looked at a naughty website <laughs> on your phone or your desktop, oh. maybe? You know, sometimes you, you just got to admit it. I appreciate the honesty. Ah. Okay. Let's say you're at a buffet. How do you just Everything. A situation has already been settled. But someone insists on disagreeing. How do you respond? You gotta you let him talk. Loved by everyone around you. What do you think about that? None of my business, cause hate is gonna hate. You're forced to take on a leadership role. How do you make your decisions? I'm gonna be honest. I would have no idea what to do. I'm not a role model. I'm not a leader. Would you say you've ever truly loved someone? I mean, I would be lying if I didn't say if no. If I said no. Free time and money, how would you spend it? I mean, this one's more of an honest answer. Yeah, I would use it for personal growth. What would you do if someone started spreading baseless rumors about you? Hey, man, you got call sometimes call that shit out too. Can't let that uh, linger. Something you care for with every fiber of your being. Same thing, you gotta go with the an honest answer. Words, would you? Hmm. Collect, dislimit, and grow. Your desire for gluttony surpasses all others. You grow by gorging yourself <laughs> yeah. on as much as possible. You're a voracious consumer, always searching for something new. But you tend to lose sight of your goals. I guess that your unfocused methods sometimes lead to... Oh, man, it, it's like talking... It's like your desires looking to a fortune. Strong indeed. You have Crystal a ball? firm sense of self and a stable ego. Something about you seems unbalanced. Oh, yes, you know? that's definitely like me. None of your desires should be neglected, you know? Without desires, your ego can't grow. Without an ego, you're no different from a doll. Hey, now. So be frank with what you want as you attend this academy. And live how you see fit. Yeah, all right, all right. Thank you. I understand you so terribly well now. Do you? 
I never get to chat with others this much. Okay. It's nice. No, no, I don't know if you should have this type of conversation with a student, though. But I know you'll be able to adapt to it right away. That's right. Let's speak again if our paths cross. And remember, I'm expecting great things from you. See. Okay, all right. Ta-da! Ta-da! Wake up. Please, open your eyes. Uh, I had a dream I was in an anime video game. Uh, now it's such a weed. Ah. Uh. He seems all right. Yeah. You're okay. You're really okay. <laughs> Who is this lost child? Did somebody say Stan? Don't worry about him, that guy's got the runs. Too thick. Let's move. Speaking of running, we gotta do some running. I make a mad dash. Stop. Hold up. Slowing us down, old man. I'm beat. I think I'm actually dying. Can't go on. Hmm. Got. You're out of breath can't already. Work. To be left behind. Moved. You really should exercise more often, Doctor. And you're a doctor. Who's got the time? I'm a weak old man. You trying to kill me? Uh, Maybe this profession on, wasn't it? really for him. It's Nozomi Hinata. You work here. The least you can do is remember the students' names. It's true. I'm a doctor, not a teacher. Besides, God damn. I'm more used to calling you Prez anyway. And this person's supposed to be a member of the school faculty. So much has happened. I couldn't find you for a week. You have no idea how worried I was. Huh? When we heard a student collapsed on the second floor, I never imagined it'd be your brother, Chio. The second year building is connected to this one. Maybe he came from over there. You know, just dump it up on there. Hey, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? No, not physically. And you are. That's not very funny. This is no time to be joking, you know. That's me, Jokey the Joke Maker. Wait, you really can't remember? Huh? What's your name? You remember that much at least, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> how convenient. <laughs> Wait, Chio, I thought your last name was Aikawa. Drama. Exactly I'm a very distant woman. relative. Very uh, distant. I see. Can you remember anything besides your name? Family. I friends, remember anything about the, the Alamo. Anything at all? Not a goddamn thing. No. I'll bet whatever made him collapse is also the cause of his amnesia. Well, the mist does tend to drive people crazy. We don't know much about Do they? it. Does it? It's bad for people with weak respiratory systems, though. Like Chico here. Hmm. Uh, my name is Chio. But to 
despite all that, your little sis came all the way here to see you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. Damn, Doc. What are you trying to say? You understand what I mean? Uh, no. Oh, right, right. What do I do? Do you really have to ask? The least you could do is thank her. Damn. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. Oh. Welcome back. Well, we've had our little breather. Let's move. We should hurry on out of here. Let's get it moving. There's no mist on the first floor. It'll be safer there. All right. Moving along. Jesus, just a couple of steps away. The dude's already out of breath again. This guy's a liability. Hope his insurance phone call. is active. But we've had no service this entire time. Who could possibly be calling right now? Maybe it's someone Could be an insurance scam. Maybe that tends to happen. To Damn, it's dial up. Don't mind her, she's just lying down unconscious. Ah, spooky skeletons. Huh? What the? Look out! He sacrificed for the greater good. Stephen B, he's dead. He's dead. He, he's dead. He might be talking, but he's I'll dying. Be fine. Yes, and gotta go. Here we go. Not a chance. I'm staying right here with you. Don't be stupid. You're just gonna get us all killed. You should listen to him. I don't care. Listen. I'm not going to let you sacrifice yourself. Damn. Guess I gotta step up. He's got a bone to pick with you, Doc. Ah, uh, it's the game mascot. Our boy's having none of it. Wait, wait, unhand me, you uncouth, unkind underling. The impudence instantly interrupting my interlude. Give him a squeeze. Hurtful 
heathen, deranged devil. Sadistic. I mean, he has a plush, so it's fine. Sadist. Give him a squeeze. You may refer to me it's not gonna as hurt. Vanitas. Lend me your power. Hey, can you at least pretend to be petrified? You're really putting me off my game here, pal. Power is not a present to be provided. Pacify your predicament personally. These dastardly dissidents are demons. Lackeys of their lowest level. Legions. But even the lowliest legion would leave a lack-witted lug like you lifeless. I, however, possess a plethora of power. Prostrate before me and pray I spare you. Show me the delight. Damn, so we got a grovel to this guy? Struggle to survive this plight, and I just might. Hey! Have you heard even one single word I've said? Go at them on No, he's, he's just concerned with the safety of others. He ain't gonna listen to you. Yeah, kind of spiel. breaking the pictures a there a bit. With no memories within expectation, but no manners or sense of self preservation. Gah, enough dealing with you is giving me a headache. I cannot lend you just give him what he wants. I can still assist. After all, fate is static, it'll always persist. And that is a stand. Is this his final form? Uh, Got me. I like the design. Isn't a magic ear. Your soul made manifest. You'll need it in the other world to make it through. So the basically, stand power. The power of vanity is yours for the taking. A reflection of your ego, a like I said, stand ego. power. The fiend of gluttony has joined you. Now go and kill those things already. All right, time to get, time to get in the game. All right, so the battles are carried out in phases between the player and the enemy. Use the L stick to move. Current active unit and press R1 and L1 and R1. Switch between units, press X to pull up the fan list. Your phase ends once all units have acted. Okay. Fight enemies using the arts and authority. Command list. Uh, okay, so the authorities live by pack burden demons, raised mad gauge upon use. Yeah, I think we got this to that. Hmm. Comparing the mad and the health. All right, sounds good. In the rage of the enemy. Okay, so we're just the first, basically giving up a turn to your uh, teammate. That's how I'm reading it. Yeah, that's obvious. I think we should move a bit. Wait it out, let him come to us. I think that'll be the best strategy going forward. Let him go first. We'll attack the left one. They're on their way. Alright. 
meant to defer. There you go. Oh, go back. I think that would be better. Yeah, he goes first. What do you think about it? Let's see how much damage he does. I'm back. Knock him out. Now we can defer. And hit him from the back too. Very well. Take that. Oh. Okay, baby. Easy. Oh my gosh. I think that's him. It's kind of a little boss. It is a pretty boss. Though I'm disappointed it wasn't an S. Look, that was pretty good gameplay, good strategy. Because I wanted to play aggressive. Wow. <laughs> Where are your calls, your cheering cries? Return to your world now. Go claim your prize. Wait just a damn minute. I got questions. <laughs> I don't take orders from you. With that, farewell and adieu. Bring your ego and power to bear against the irrational and unfair. This dude's pretty slick with the rhyming. I think that's part of its uh, charm. I would admit. Now, normally I would edit this out, but I'll let it play because it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool opening. Yep, gonna get hit with that DMCA strike. Act one. Nozomi Hinata. Blind old savior. You know, on a technical note, I do like the sound of the teleportion. Tele Teleport sounds all going all staticky. This is the academy. We made it back. Is everyone all right? I mean, it looks that way. <sighs> Perfectly fine. Just a little bruised. Bruised? That bones? Did it stab you? Oh, Chio. What a relief. What do you look so worried about? You've been unconscious ever since you answered that weird phone call. I'll take Chio to the infirmary. You two go on down for now, okay? 
right. Doctor's Let's orders. Let's get going then. We can talk about the other world later on. Eh, all right. And what were you doing on the second floor, former student council president Hinata? Dude's really got to emphasize the former. I thought I declared any areas overrun with mist off limits. I await your explanation. Who's this dude? You there, do not interrupt me. Why? You truly have no idea who I am. Then allow me to debrief you. After the mist, barrier, and other anomalies appeared, the last student council tried to dispel the chaos with Yeah, the yeah, yeah, that was pretty much the gist of it. And yet, said chaos has only increased. Oh, that's me. It was then that a savior appeared to quell the unrest, rallying the students with his overwhelming charisma. That savior is none other than I. Oh, really? President Kurama Hitotsubashi. Hinata was relieved of her duties, and at the behest of all, I took on the mantle of student council president. Dude, just giving off total villain vibes so I, already. You, First impressions. How does it feel to see how much more capable I am in comparison? It's true. And dude looks more like he's in his mid twenties than being a student with that design. I commend you on acknowledging your inferiority. Now, why did you enter the mist? Well. I mean, everybody else looks fine. That guy. He collapsed within the mist, so you ventured in to save him. And this was with Dr. Kakeru Hasegawa and Chio Aikawa? Yes. I see. So you placed both the Academy's doctor and a middle school student in peril. Your foolishness What is this dude's problem? You should have come to me. As your student council president, I would have rescued him in a safer manner. <laughs> hmm. I really don't think he would have done you that. You may no longer hold the position yourself, but you still set a poor example by behaving this way. I believe some discipline is in order. What say the rest of you? Agreed. <laughs> Suck ups. Pardon the interruption. It's but the do you dean. Mind if I borrowed this young man and Miss Hinata. We have urgent matters to discuss. Well, well, if it isn't Ms. Sora Jingu, our beloved Dean. Eh, uh, Sora? So? I'm Kingdom Hearts? Yes, that is my name. Is something the matter? This you. dude. Did I not warn you about interrupting me? Hmm. Dean Jingu. We must consider impeaching Hinata for violating Academy regulations. Dude's got a resting conf... <laughs> I was gonna say con constipation face. <laughs> of course, it truly breaks my heart to punish one of my peers. But order must be maintained in our Academy. Hmm. No further action will be required at this time, Mr. Hitotsubashi. Hmm. Thanks to you, of course. And not just from me. The rest of the faculty and student body are all very grateful to you. Come on, dude does not look like a toe hero. I'd hate to see you suffer from the guilt of punishing your peers, 
even if it was done out of responsibility. I'm sure he's soldiering that responsibility really well. As you wish, I'll leave it at that. We wouldn't want my judgment clouded by grief, after all. Come along, everyone, to the student council room. Yes, sir. What a douchebag. Remember, Hinata, there won't be a next time. See what I mean? Well, that takes care of the rank and file. Why don't we have a chat in that empty classroom? I see. So you were dragged into the other world after answering a phone call in the mist. Hmm. There's just one thing I need to know. How exactly did you... How did they flee the other world and make it back to here? Is that the question you seek to ask, oh woeful overseer? Benitas? There's our boy. A demon? No. A monarch? How did you get into this academy? Lady, he just literally dropped in. I am the answer for which you strive, Vanitas, the being who helped them survive. A demon? Helping? Hmm. So that's how it is. Did you make a pact with a demon in exchange for power? An authority, so to speak. Maybe. All right, I did. And what did you wish for? Absolute power. Actually, the power to protect everybody because of friendship. He and three others were dragged to the depths. He drove back the legions to fend off their deaths. I see. You're a kind person at heart, it seems. I sense that someone managed to return for being drawn into the other worlds, but this, I never imagined. To think a new pact bearer would emerge as a result. If I may ask, what sort of authority did you receive? Got to fill in the details. Blah, 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 blah. The authority of vanity. I've never heard of that. Perhaps it's an aberration of some sort. You're surprisingly knowledgeable about all this demon and other world stuff, Miss Sora. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. That I am, but extenuating circumstances prevented me from talking about them before. These secrets are normally reserved for the head of the Jingu family, as is the position of Academy Dean. And she's talking like that's kind of normal. However, seeing as you already know, there's no point in hiding things any further. I'll answer any questions you have. Uh, I feel like we know enough. Consider a far-fetched goal. Curing an incurable illness, for example. Reality can't be changed no matter how hard you wish. But if someone learned that the power to overturn reality existed, would they be able to resist temptation? Even if such power came from demons and gave rise to widespread distortions, Distortions? Powers from the other world are against the natural order. Continued usage of them will cause our world to distort. The mist, the barrier around the academy, the calls from the other world, all are byproducts of a pact bearer's authority. So please, unless the situation demands it, I ask that you avoid using your authority on campus. The Jingu family has maintained balance in the world ever since the Academy's founder discovered the existence of demons. 
We've attempted to prevent the emergence of new Pact Bearers at any cost. And yet they've appeared regardless. We are currently aware of at least seven others. Avoiding their packs is the only way to put a stop to these anomalies and restore normality. Might I ask you to use your powers for the welfare of our academy? I believe a packed bear of your circumstances would be perfect for this task. Please. Oh, since you asked nicely. Me. Your compliance would be appreciated. Okay. You have my thanks. Now then, would you prefer a detailed explanation on how to void the packs, or will the gist of things suffice? Just give me the gist. While exploring the mist in the academy, you will receive calls that connect you to the other world. There, you will find crystals known as ideals. Shatter them, and it will render the pact bearers powerless. Though it pains me to ask this of a student, the fate of our academy is in your Yeah, hands. shouldn't she be asking this to responsible adults? <laughs> Good luck. Mr. Vinitas, I would appreciate if you concealed yourself around any students who are unaware of the situation. Your appearance would cause a great deal of panic, to put things lightly. I'm here for the boy, so don't worry your head. My only concern is what road he will tread. Slick rhyme. Take that to mean you intend to behave. These are reference materials about demons, packed bears, and the other world. Give them a read when you get the chance. Yeah, 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 lady. I'll read them later. I'll be taking my leave now. Well, that wraps up our first video. If you like the content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit that bell notification for future gaming uploads. This is my Lord Chaos. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much, and you guys take care, all right?